By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what you need to do if you wanna gain over 100,000 followers on TikTok. I don't care what niche you're in, how old you are, where you're from, it is possible for you to reach over 100,000 followers on TikTok, and I'm gonna prove it to you in this video because I'm gonna share with you five of my mentorship clients, all in different niches, all of different backgrounds. One of them doesn't even speak English, and guess what? He gained over a million followers throughout the 30 days. So I need you guys to pay close, close attention to what I'm about to share with you because each one of those creators does something differently, each one of them does something differently right, and a couple of them are even not doing things that I think they would have grown even more had they done the things that I'm about to share with you in this video. So first up, Matt, he's gained over 6 million followers. Secondly, Tuvok, over 1.2 million followers. Third, this creator, over 300,000 followers. Underscore, you made that up, over 760,000 followers. And Adam has gained over 100,000 followers. And like I said, guys, these people are all in different niches. Adam, he's in the comedy niche. You made that up, he's in the tweets niche. The first creator I mentioned, in the dance niche. The next creator I mentioned, in the pranks niche and the creator after that, he's in the real estate niche. So as you guys could see, these people are in all different niches and they're still able to grow. They're still able to gain a ton of followers and they're seeing massive results. I want these same exact results for you, but you guys need to promise me something. You need to watch this video all the way through the end because I'm telling you, if you skip just one part of this video, it's gonna be the reason that you don't gain over 100,000 followers on TikTok. And most importantly, if you want these kind of results, you need to start implementing the things that these creators are doing. I'm gonna share with you their account, exactly what they're doing right, and tell you the things that you need to avoid also because like I said earlier in the video, one or two of them, I think they could have over a million followers had they just done a couple things differently. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Robert Benjamin. I'm the CEO of Helping You Grow on TikTok and that is my sole mission on this earth right now. I want to make sure that you grow. So please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you leave me a comment below. I answer every single comment that I get on my YouTube videos. I quit my job working for Gary Vee to help you grow on TikTok and I want to fulfill that through this YouTube channel. First and foremost, Tuvok12. He's in the prank niche. He only posts once a day, but I strongly suggest he should be posting more times a day. He's gained 1.2 million followers. Had he posted three to four times a day instead of once a day, I think he would actually have over 5 million followers. Guys, I cannot emphasize this enough. You need to be posting more on TikTok. I get it. You want your videos to do well. You want every single video to be a hit. That is honestly just not the reality. That's not real life. Yes, there are several creators that have every single video be a hit, but I would strongly suggest you actually focus on putting out more content. It's going to allow you to relate to more people, build a larger community, build a stronger connection with your audience, and it's going to give you a higher chance of going viral. Like I said, this creator has gained 1.2 million followers in the mentorship program. I think they could have gained 5 million followers had they posted more often. So yes, this person is posting only once a day, but again, if they posted three to four times a day, they would have way more followers. So I don't want to see in the comment section, Rob, they only posted once a day. Rob, this is proof that you should only post once a day because I have several other creators coming up that actually post multiple times a day. And guess what? One of them gained more followers than he did. That being said, something he is doing incredibly well, he's getting other people in his content. This could be getting other people's reactions. This could be him doing things in a park and getting people's reactions. For example, a couple of his videos actually include random strangers. In one of them, he walks straight into a pole in public, gets people's reaction. In another one, he just rolls soccer balls at random people, sees what they do to it, and then he rates their reaction. These are all things that you could be doing in your content, whether you're doing prank content, comedy content, or you're just doing random content that's just funny content. You can all mix random people into your content. I'm telling you guys, Devin Art Rodriguez did an amazing job adding this into his art channel. No matter what your niche is, you can add other people into your channel and it's one of the biggest things that you can do on TikTok because people scroll on the For You page, they want to see other people's reactions to things. It's an amazing hook. It gets people to watch the video for longer and it goes viral on TikTok because TikTok thinks that they have an audience for that content and the audience is willing to stick around to see somebody else's reaction at the end of the video. Secondly, this creator, he's really crushing it with the volume approach. He's in the real estate niche and guess what? He posts eight to 10 times a day. You know what this does for him? It allows him to get a ton of videos out there, find what's actually gonna go viral. It allows him to also talk about several things. He doesn't need a very specific video or a video about a very narrow subject to go viral because it's just not going to go viral and he knows that. So he can put those out for that core audience and then he can do more trending things. He can talk about money and do things that really blow up on TikTok to allow him to go viral. What has this done? It's allowed him to gain over 300,000 followers in the real estate niche, which is an incredibly hard niche to grow on TikTok. If you're in the business space or the information space, you need to look at what this creator is doing. They're doing an amazing job, especially using money and using things that people desire as a hook in their content. His best videos always are the ones where he starts off with how expensive a house was or how much money he made off of a house. You guys need to do the same exact thing in your content. It doesn't matter if you're not in the real estate niche. Anything related to money, anything related to something somebody desires, you need to show that off in the beginning of the video because those videos are going to get more views than anything else. Why? Because those things acted as a hook, act as watch time. People are nosy. They want to see money. They want to see cars. They want to see watches. They want to see nice things. Now, no, I'm not saying you need to go crazy and do this in every single video, but you should definitely use it in a hook 
hook in your content and then mix in the more informational stuff, the more education stuff, and that is actually how you're gonna grow a community. If you wanna grow a community in the information space, in the education space, you have to do some outlandish things to get a ton of views, but then pull it back and really show off that you know what you're talking about, and this creator is doing an amazing job at that. Next, underscore you made that up, he is crushing. Over 760,000 followers in the tweet space. He does an amazing job staying up to date on what sounds are trending, what tweets are gonna be trending, and what dances and effects are gonna be trending. You guys need to pay attention to this. Is he a dance creator? No. What is he doing though? He's taking advantage of trending tweets, getting people to read that tweet, getting high amount of watch time on a short video, and a lot of his videos take off as a result. In addition to that, he's posting so many times a day. He's not posting seven, eight times a day, but two to three, yeah he is. And you guys need to do the same exact thing, I'm telling you. Take advantage of those trending sounds, take advantage of those trending effects, and make sure you guys start adding tweets into your content. This type of content doesn't go away. Yeah, it's very similar post to post, but guess what? They always get a lot of views, they always connect to a new audience, and there's an unlimited amount of content. There's an unlimited amount of outrageous tweets out there. And that being said, the outrageous tweets are the ones that really go viral. They get shared, they get commented on, they get people going crazy in the comments and watching those videos on loop, which then gets a lot of watch time, which then has your video pushed out and then all at the end of it, he's getting people to click the plus sign, which is why he's gained so many followers. And again, this is something that you guys can take advantage no matter what is trending on TikTok. Be it a sound, be it a hashtag, be it a topic. And you can do this for every single niche. You guys need to start mixing tweet content, green screen content into your content because I'm telling you it is gonna make a huge difference. It's gonna give you an unlimited amount of posts that you can use and it's really gonna allow you to expand to a much broader audience outside of just the audience that you're currently talking to. Not to mention, since he does no duets and no stitches, guess what? He actually makes more money than most creators from the creator fund because the creator fund doesn't pay you out for duets and doesn't pay off for stitches, but they do pay out for tweet content. This creator right here, Adam Riz, over 100,000 followers. He's doing a good job, but he could be doing a much better job. What does he do a great job at? He does a great job at staying on top of the trends. What could he do a much better job at? Reposting his best content and sticking with something when it works. His videos are kind of all over the place. Some of them a thousand views, some of them 10,000, some of them over a hundred thousand views. What he needs to do a better job at is staying consistent. He's consistently doing trending things, but when he finds a wave, he is not staying on it. He is not pounding that thing until it doesn't work anymore which he should, because he should be confident that one, in the mentorship program, I'm gonna send him new things that he needs to do. And then secondly, he's actually pretty good at finding trending stuff. If you are good at finding trending stuff, you guys need to be comfortable doing something over and over again when it works, and then being able to find the next thing. Don't always be on the look for the next thing. You guys need to sometimes take your foot off the gas and just go hard down one narrow post. Be it a sound, be it a hashtag, be it a post type, and that is how you're actually gonna blow up. Again, he's got 100,000 followers. I think he would have a million followers if he actually did that. Also, he's not the most consistent person when it comes to posting. Sometimes two to three times a day, sometimes once a day, sometimes he doesn't post. You guys need to be consistent if you want to see major results. That being said, he's in the mentorship program, gained over 100,000 followers, and he hasn't been the most consistent person in the world. So yes, the mentorship program can still help you grow even if you're not incredibly consistent, but I'm going to be on your trying to get you to be consistent, trying to get you to put out more content, and making sure that you're staying on top of what's trending. And to remind you guys, I have a six-step checklist that every single piece of content that you put out needs to follow. If the content does not pass this six-step checklist, you should not post it at all. Here's a checklist. First, the video's gotta be a duet, a stitch, recreated off of a trend, or a repost of one of your most popular videos. Secondly, it's gotta be posted at the right time for your account. Third, it's gotta be the correct length of your niche. Fourth, it needs to have a trending sound on it and then fifth, you need to have a hook in the beginning. If there's not a hook with text on the screen or just not a natural hook in the video, you should not post the video. And then finally, it's gotta be a call to action. You have to be getting people to click that plus sign, getting people to follow you at the end of the video. If your video doesn't have those six things, you should not even bother posting it on TikTok because it's not going to do well. Now finally, Matt is absolutely crushing it. Over six million followers in the dance niche. Yes, he's gained the most amount of followers. Why? Because his niche is the most broad. That's just a natural thing on TikTok. But that doesn't mean that everybody should be in the dance niche. There's a much bigger opportunity to grow in other niches, like the prank niche, or the real estate niche, or the tweet niche, or the comedy niche, or any other niche that you can think of on TikTok. That being said, he has gained over 6 million followers. Why has he gained over 6 million followers? He does a great job staying up to date on what's trending broadly on TikTok and then mixing it into the dance content. He collaborates with really big creators, and also, he's posting consistently. He's not putting out posts every single day because he's got a ton of followers and doing a ton of other stuff, but 
He's consistently posting, he doesn't fall off, and like I said, collaborating with a ton of other people, even if he doesn't post on his own account, he's showing up on three or four other people's accounts, which then gets him followers, and his posts continue to trend because he has so many followers. And I really can't emphasize for you guys how important it is to make sure that you're staying on top of what is trending for you in your niche. That being said, if you guys wanna see followers like these people are seeing, you wanna blow up on TikTok, you want me to tell you what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, and guarantee that you grow, you need to get into my mentorship program at the link in the description. To put it simply, you're gonna go through six steps to becoming a TikTok expert course. I'm gonna send you a personalized plan telling you what to post, what hashtags to use, what time you should be posting, and so much more. And then every 48 to 72 hours, I'm gonna check in with you, critique your content, send you new post ideas, send you new trend ideas, and make sure that you grow on TikTok. Guys, this is how these people are blowing up on TikTok. This is how everybody's blowing up on TikTok. You need to start taking action right now. The only difference between these people and you, it's not the language they speak, it's not the country they're from, it's not the niche that they're in, it's not any of that stuff. It's simply that they took action and they're following the blueprint for being successful on TikTok. I have that blueprint and I wanna share it with you specifically for your account, because it might be a little different. So please, make sure you get in my mentorship program. The organic reach on TikTok is not going to last forever. You need to take action right now. Go to the link in the description. If not, YouTube wants you to watch these two videos that are coming up on the screen next. Thanks so much for watching this video.